all just some absurd game and we're never going to know how life started and how life's going to end and the nature of consciousness and the nature of evolution and free will. And so some of these questions that we're never going to know. Mm -hmm. Okay. If this is a video game, can you change the nature of the game so that it's enjoyable to play just at the level of playing it? Mm, and that yes. was the thought that changed my life that, okay, if this is all a matrix, if none of this matters to the universe, if the universe isn't watching it, it doesn't care. Can I use this radical freedom? And this is what all the, all the philosophers in this place, they use different words, but it's the exact same idea of, can you use radical freedom of, with all this deconstruction that you've done? to now build a life that is worth living at the level of experience, not because the universe cares, not because of a truth claim, not because of a grand narrative, not because your actions will matter 10,000 years from now, but can you make the ride of life so enjoyable that you want to be on that ride just for the sake yes. of the ride? Yes. Can you bring back the magic of what it is to be alive? Hello and welcome to day five of New Moon New You Challenge. This day is jam packed full. So I've compiled a little some something for you today. Let's just do a recap. Day one was all about setting intentions, figuring out exactly what you wanted. I did ask you to kind of briefly look at some of your limitations, but to break through them using your imagination, thinking that there was a limitless supply of abundance in which that there is. Day two, we went into quantum leaping and learning some meditations, diving into creating a vision book and mind movies to help with your subliminal messaging for your subconscious. Day three, we were looking at the full intentional scale, looking at how we could release some of these limitations. And day four, it was the day of relaxation. It was the day of contemplation and reflection. Now on day five, we're wrapping it all together and creating a life book and vision book. I've had the pleasure of taking a few different courses. One was Awakening to Yourself. I actually did do the life book program and a few others in my lifetime. What I've done is I combined the best elements of everything that I've learned. Giving practical advice so that you can make steps towards your dreams. In this video, we're going to go over how to create a life book. Some of the prompt questions you can ask yourself while you're diving into each section. But no, each section does take time. Give yourself at least three days to a week to complete each section of your life book vision book journey in the description box I have also included 50 prompts for journaling and writing that way you have an abundance of questions to ask yourself period why do I do this because when you're asking yourself the right questions then solutions come in. Remember, positive thinking is not toxic. Positive thinking is a way of finding solutions to the situations at hand, making the decision to actively make choices towards the life that you wish period. Being mindful and having that moment just to ask yourself, is this how I wish to react? Will this be the best decision if I react in this way? What would be the best way to think about the other person's needs as well as my own? We've gone over a lot in these five days. There is one more day, but I will be uploading that today. 
and day six is all about celebrating. But let's jump into it. Be I can certainly help guide you through the process of developing a life book like document. Creating a life book involves self reflection and careful consideration of various aspects of your life. Here's a step by step guide to help you get started. Step one define categories. Identify the key categories that are important to you. Step two assess your current situation. For each category, assess where you currently stand. Step three, set goals. Define specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound SMART goals for each category. Step four, clarify your values. Identify your core values for each category. Step five, visual representation. Create a visual representation of your life book. Step six, develop action plans. Break down your goals into actionable steps. Step 7. Regular review. Set aside time regularly to review your life book. Step 8. Seek support. Consider sharing your life book with a mentor, coach, or trusted friend. Step 9. Adapt and evolve. Be open to adapting your life book as needed. Step 10. Celebrate success. Acknowledge and celebrate your achievements. Remember, your life book is a personal and evolving document. Feel free to tailor the steps to suit your preferences and needs. It's a tool to guide you on your journey toward a more fulfilling and intentional life. Here are 10 writing prompts for each category in your life book. Describe your current health and fitness routine. What activities do you enjoy and how do they contribute to your well-being? Reflect on a time when you felt physically and mentally strong. What factors contributed to that sense of strength? Imagine achieving your ideal level of fitness. Describe the emotions and benefits associated with this achievement. Explore your relationship with food. How can you make healthier choices that align with your well-being goals? Write about a fitness milestone you aspire to reach. What steps will you take to make this goal a reality? Identify a subject or skill you've always wanted to learn more about. What steps can you take to further your knowledge in this area? Reflect on your current intellectual pursuits. How do they contribute to your personal and professional growth? Describe your ideal learning environment. What resources and habits support your intellectual development? Explore a challenging problem you'd like to solve. How can you approach it intellectually to find a solution? Write about a book, course, or experience that significantly impacted your intellectual perspective. Reflect on your emotional well-being. What activities or practices help you maintain a positive emotional state? Describe a situation where you effectively managed stress and emotions. What strategies did you employ? Explore your relationship with gratitude. How can you incorporate more gratitude into your daily life? Write about a personal challenge that has shaped your emotional resilience. How did you overcome it? Imagine your ideal emotional state. What steps can you take to cultivate and sustain this state? Identify your core values. How do these values guide your decision-making and actions? Reflect on a moment when you demonstrated strength of character. What lessons did you learn from that experience? Explore a character trait you'd like to cultivate further. How can you incorporate it into your daily life? Describe a situation where you exhibited resilience in the face of adversity. How did this shape your character? Write about a role model whose character traits you admire. What aspects would you like to emulate? Reflect on your current spiritual practices. How do they provide meaning and purpose in your life? Describe a moment of spiritual connection or transcendence. What elements contributed to this experience? Explore your beliefs about the nature of existence and your place in the universe. Write about a spiritual goal you'd like to achieve. How can you integrate more spirituality into your daily life? Imagine your ideal state of spiritual well-being. How can you work towards achieving and maintaining this state? Each chapter of your book is as important, love relationships. Reflect on the strengths of your current love relationship. What aspects contribute to its health and vitality? Describe your ideal love relationship. What values and qualities are essential to its success? 
Explore a challenging moment in a past or current relationship. What did you learn from that experience? Write a letter to your partner expressing gratitude and love. Highlight specific aspects that make the relationship special. Identify specific actions you can take to strengthen and deepen your love relationship. Parenting. Reflect on your parenting philosophy. How do you approach the responsibilities and joys of parenting? Describe a memorable moment with your child. What made it special? And how can you create more of these moments? Explore your parenting goals. What values and principles do you want to instill in your children? Write a letter to your child expressing your hopes and dreams for their future. Identify one aspect of your parenting that you'd like to improve. What steps can you take to address this? Reflect on your current social connections. How do your relationships contribute to your overall well-being? Describe your ideal social circle. What qualities do your friends possess and how do they support each other? Explore your social goals. How can you cultivate and maintain meaningful connections with others? Write about a social activity or event that brought you joy. How can you incorporate more of these experiences into your life? Identify any toxic relationships or social dynamics in your life. What steps can you take to address or eliminate them? Reflect on your current financial situation. What habits contribute to your financial health and what areas need improvement? Describe your ideal financial state. What specific financial goals do you want to achieve in the short and long term? Explore your relationship with money. How can you develop a healthier and more positive mindset towards finances? Write about a financial challenge you've overcome. What strategies did you use and what did you learn from the experience? Identify one area of financial education you'd like to focus on. How can you enhance your financial literacy? Career. Reflect on your current career satisfaction. What aspects of your work bring you fulfillment and what challenges do you face? Describe your ideal career. What values and skills would you like to leverage in your professional life? Explore your career goals. What steps can you take to advance in your current position or transition to a new role? Write about a professional achievement that brought you a sense of accomplishment. How can you build on this success? Identify any career-related skills you'd like to develop. What resources and opportunities can help you acquire these skills? Quality of life. Reflect on your overall quality of life. What factors contribute to a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction? Describe your ideal daily routine. How can you structure your day to maximize happiness and productivity? Explore your leisure and recreation preferences. What activities bring you joy and relaxation? Write about a memorable experience that significantly enhanced your quality of life. How can you create more of these experiences? Identify any negative habits or influences affecting your quality of life. What steps can you take to eliminate or mitigate them? Reflect on your overarching life vision. What legacy do you want to leave? And what impact do you aspire to make? Describe a future version of yourself, living in alignment with your life vision. What does that life look and feel like? Explore any fears or limiting beliefs that may be hindering your progress toward your life vision. How can you overcome them? Write a mission statement for your life, encompassing your values, goals and aspirations. Identify the next actionable steps you can take to bring your life vision closer to reality. Remember that these prompts are designed to inspire self-reflection and help you articulate your goals and aspirations in each area of your life book. Feel free to adapt and expand upon them based on your personal preferences and needs. Step 1. Set intentions clearly define the purpose of your life book. What specific areas of your life do you want to focus on? Step 2. Gather supplies. Collect materials for your vision book. Step 3. Define categories. Identify the categories or sections that align with your life book goals. Step 4. Visualize goals for each category. Visualize your goals. Step 5. 
Cut and collect carefully cut out the images and words that resonate with your goals. Step 6. Organize your vision book. Divide your notebook or binder into sections for each category. Step 7. Create collages. Start placing your cutouts in each section, creating collages that visually represent your goals. Step 8. Add text and quotes. Include inspirational quotes, affirmations or personal statements that reinforce your goals. Step 9. Reflect and write. Write reflections or specific actions you plan to take in each category. Step 10. Personal touch. Add personal touches like your signature, a date, or any symbols that have personal significance to you. Step 11. Review and revise regularly review your vision book. Step 12. Make it interactive. Consider adding interactive elements. Step 13. Visualization ritual. Incorporate a brief visualization ritual into your routine. Step 14. Share with others. If you're comfortable, share your vision book with a close friend, family member, or mentor. Step 15. Celebrate achievements. As you achieve goals, celebrate by adding new images or updating your reflections. Step 16. Keep it accessible. Place your vision book in a location where you can easily access it. Step 17. Embrace evolution. Allow your life book vision book to evolve over time. As we've gone through all the categories, health and fitness, intellectual life, emotional life, character, spiritual life, love relationships, parenting, social life, financial life, career, and quality of life, and last but not least, your life vision. Remember to access your current situation, set goals, clarify your values, use visual representations, develop action plans, have regular reviews, seek support, adapt and evolve, and of course, celebrate success. So there we have it, five whole days. You've learned so much and gone through so much. I'm so proud of you. So let's jump to video six to celebrate. Yay. Way to go you. Remember, you're worth it. Welcome to your new magical life. <laughs>